excited is an understatement. Let's get into it. So Hindash has just come out with his latest collection from his makeup brand. And I'll just show you the Beautopsy palette, which was his first launch. This is the first gradient palette he made. So beautiful. And the Monochromites palette is kind of like the newest sister palette to this. And I am so excited. And this is the new Monochromites palette. I am obsessed. This is, I think, perfect timing for kind of, it's about to be spring. So these are the two palettes next to each other. You can see those pinky shades in the middle kind of look similar-ish, but they are actually different. I'm just on the Hindash website and it says that Monochromance is a multi-use pressed pigment palette with a 24 color payoff that can be used on the eyes and face. I'm not quite sure what they mean by a 24 color payoff. There are six pans. I would have said maybe like 12, but I guess there's going to be different gradients between the two. So maybe they mean kind of one, two, three, and four in each pan to make the 24 color payoff. It's not really clear, so that's just my guess. And for hero liner, the main kind of couple things it says is it's an ultra black eyeliner made for extreme wear and precision, and it's uh, vegan and water resistant, as well as 24 hour wear and transfer proof. So that's the eyeliner. And then for the color fluid, it says it's a series of liquid colors by Hindash. The first shade to release is Boy Tears, which is this, a universal multi pearl champagne shimmer topper. Boy Tears is a multi-use shimmer created to transform and complement all your gradient palette applications with Beautopsy and Monochromance. Same as the eyeliner, this also says it's waterproof and another key feature is that it says it's long lasting with one stroke application, ultra thin lightweight film and pure colour vibrancy as well as being vegan. Let's start, I'm just going to prime my lids with P. Louise. I don't even know where I want to go yet but I know that this purple is talking to me. So this is anti dote and I'm going to start with the dote shade in my outer crease and I just have a MAC 221S brush. What a beautiful colour. I don't really know where I'm going with this yet. I'm thinking something nice and dark in the outer corner. What's super cool about this um, palette, you would leave the Beautopsy for it though, is you can just kind of dip into all of the shadows that you want. So you could easily dip this into the black in the Beautopsy palette and it would just be even darker. That does mean you have to buy both though. And at $70 each, these are not cheap. And I'm now, after packing on the shade a little bit, just gonna blend. This is coming out super smooth. I'm just dipping into the lilac, the shade is called Anti, just on this blending brush from Smashbox. And, oh, my face is creasing. I probably should have used a packing brush. That's not coming up really great. Oh, it's starting to. Yeah, I don't know why I picked a blending brush. I'm going to dip back into Dote on the original MAC brush that I used earlier and just build up that darkness a little bit more. This edge doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to clean it and then I think I'm going to use the liner anyway so i'm not i'm not too bothered about how that bit looks i'm just going to do the other eye so shadow is down i think she looks super cute i'm not having any issues with blending or patchiness or anything like that i will just mention um because i feel it's relevant that these shadows do take a minute to build up to the pigment um that you're seeing here do they build up super easy yes a hundred percent but i thought i would just mention it because obviously these are like multi-use palettes Technically, you can use any of these shades wherever you want. You know, I'm less likely to use these two pans as blush, but these two I probably could use as blush. You could even use, you know, depending on your skin tone, one of these, especially that pearl shade, I could probably use that somewhere on my face as setting powder to set somewhere. I feel it's more appropriate in the other one just because you've got, let me show you again, you've got all the contour shades and, um, yeah, here you go. So you've obviously got, you know, these pans that can be used as contour, the to blush, you can use anything as whatever you want. I'm just kind of showing you how I would use it. Um, but yeah, say you would take this shade as a blush and it came out mega pigmented in one dip. 
you'd have issues because you might find that really difficult to blend that out on your face. So I do understand why they're buildable, but if you do like shades that are just tap in and you get full pigment straight away, you aren't going to get that with these two palettes. Um, you're still going to get it blend super smooth and you do get the pigment, it just takes you a little bit longer to get there. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but I do think it's important to mention because this is looking very pigmented, but this took me a little while to build up to this pigment. Now onto the Hero line. This has such a teeny little tip. I'm very excited for this and I love this packaging. I don't know what it is about it. I'm going to give it a go. I hope that my liners are going to be twins today because sometimes, you know, they're not sisters and sometimes they're not even family members. So I hope it's going to go okay. We'll give it a go. It's not giving like a grey, it is giving full on. You asked for black liner, you're getting black liner. That's what she said. The wing is the bit that I really need to concentrate for, so I'm not gonna do any talking. I do actually think I have managed to save it a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. I think there's a little bit more even now, but that is down to skill or lack thereof not the liner the liner is incredible one of the best i think this is very similar to the natasha demona in opaqueness and in the finish you're looking to do something super precise precise is going to be really useful because i only mention it to this because it's my current fave i'm just going to do my foundation and concealer real quick and then we'll be back to carry on with the products i'm just going in with more of that dark purple and i'm just going to blend it under my eyes and all into that liner and if it gets a little bit kind of like grey where the eyeshadow is on top of it I'll just go over it. I'm now going to go into the Beautopsy palette and mix the shade tan and feel to do a little bit of bronzing. Next I'm going to go into this pink colour up here which is called Heavy, that shade next to it is called Petal. I might kind of go in the middle of those two. And now on to the final product, the Colour Fluid in the shade Boy Tears. I'm just going to swipe some on the back of my hand so you can see the colour. Sorry about the foundation on there. So it's more gold than it looks on the website, but very reflective. On the website it looks quite uh, like silvery on my hand. Maybe it's because I'm super pale. It's looking very very gold very shimmery though i don't know how well it's coming off on camera but in real life it looks very very like glistening very very soft it's very pretty i'm gonna try and use this as highlight and i'm gonna go in very softly just because i do think it might be a wee bit dark so i'm gonna take a um mac 21 s brush So this is the full face just before i get into my final thoughts i'll quickly say everything that's on my face right now so we obviously have the four hindash products the beautopsy the monochromance the um color fluid boy tears and the hero line eyeliner other stuff i have on my face is the benefit professional primer the charlotte tilbury foundation uh beautiful skin foundation sorry the Anast in shade 1n <laughs> sorry the anastasia uh, magic touch concealer in shade one the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder in shade 1, the uh, P. Louise base that we saw at the beginning, I have the Fenty Brow MVP in the shade Ash Brown and the Benefit um, 24 hour brow setter. I then have the, on my lips, is the Fenty gloss in the shade Mauve Wives. I also have the Benefit setting spray um, and I think, oh and I have the new MAC Stack mascara i have a separate video on that it is so good i would highly recommend taking a look obviously because it's my video and i think that's everything but if i've forgotten anything i will put it in the description down below moving on to my first impressions and recommendations the eyeliner i don't have a lot to say apart from 11 out of 10 buy it incredible super super comfortable formula i had to build it up a couple times because i then got shadow over the top 
um, so it went a little bit greyer and hasn't flaked. The layers are just sitting beautifully. I've had no issues. I'm extremely, extremely happy with the eyeliner. Moving on to the Monochromats, I loved how she performed. I did only use two of the pans of the six, but both pans worked exactly the same as each other and exactly the same as all of the shades that I tried in the Beautopsy palette. So it seems like the formula is really consistent across the palettes. I will say that the Monochromats palette is slightly less multi-use. It's more kind of eyes and cheeks than the Beautopsy, just because of the kind of range of, range of more neutral shades in here. You can kind of use it as face powder, bronzer, um, brows, blush. You could probably use it as, you know, liner. You can obviously use it all as eyeshadow. Whereas in the Beautopsy palette, sorry, that was the Beautopsy palette, in the Monochromance palette, I feel this is more just eyes and cheeks and not the full shebang like the other palette. I'm super happy I picked her up. I love her, I love the color story. It's so perfect for spring coming up, all the pastels. I'm, like I said, very happy with the formula. And onto the last item, the Colour Fluid. This is the shade Boy Tears, the only colour they have right now. I'm not sure how I feel about this just yet. I am going to have to test it some more to kind of finalise how I feel. Um, I do think that it blended super nice. It is very smooth on my face. It hasn't messed anything up underneath because I did put this on top of powdered foundation. Um, so formula wise it is going super smooth no issues there the color was a little bit dark for me um, just because I am super duper pale um, but that's why I've only used a little bit um, but that's more of a shade thing than a formula thing but I will say it's very glittery I thought it was going to be more of a kind of radiant glow that's what it looks like on these swatches but actually it's got some like glitter bits in it that i just don't think are looking that flattering um i think maybe if i try this on top of either um, lipstick or on top of eyeshadow then maybe i'll change my mind so i'm going to continue to test this i definitely don't think this is a bad product or anything like that i'm just kind of neutral right now and i need to figure out how this is going to work best for me so yeah, definitely don't think it's bad or anything like that. I just need to figure out how I'm going to like using it and where it's going to sit in my routine, you know? But those are my first impressions on the Hindus products. I'm going to have everything on my face listed down below. Please let me know what you think about this makeup in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Anything you want to let me know, please do. Did you like the shades? Which palette do you prefer, Beautopsy or Monochromance? What do you think of the um, Colour Fluid Boy Tears? I wonder what shades they're going to come out with next. Like I said, anything you want to let me know, please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And I will see you in my next video.